Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Ridge, and on this channel, we talk about all things that help you become a better version of yourself, whether that's mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually. We're going to talk about it on this channel, and that can include self-love, healing, self-care, boundaries. I'm also a senior leader in corporate America, so I like to talk about leadership development skills, communication, and navigating different workspaces. But on today's uh, video, we're going to talk about something that I've been seeing around social media and YouTube, and I'm sure you've probably seen it as well, but about a guy who posted about having seven kids and seven baby mamas, and really that it's not his responsibility. One, I want to start off with, I don't agree that he shouldn't be held accountable for the decisions that he made along with the mother of the child to not use protection. Now, I do know that um, there have been individuals that I have spoken with who have said they were not aware that the individuals took the protection off until after the fact. And um, that is a completely different story. And I know that happens, but thinking about what's, you know, the video that's going around viral about him specifically saying that he had seven, he had seven kids with seven baby mamas. These were the seven that decided to keep the kids. So that means that there were other women and he paid for either, um, he, he paid for a process to, to, to get rid of the pregnancy. But what I want to focus on, and I'm not shifting accountability from him because he is still the father, right? It, it did take both of them to conceive the child, but I really want to tackle like the women in this situation because he even made the comment about, you know, these women were really not even worthy of him acknowledging or being with. And basically he got it easy and one, you know, again, not taking accountability from him, but that's just disgusting for, for him to say that. But then as women, we have got to protect our womb. You know, this individual clearly is not using protection in all in, in encounters, it sounds like, with different women. But if you don't know, if you're not in a relationship with someone, if you don't know someone Protect yourself, not just from pregnancy, but from whatever that individual may have. So that's that's important, you know, first and foremost. And if what he's saying is true about that, which I don't know, but we have to do better, ladies. Protect yourself, protect your health, protect your womb. You know, if you meet a man who is very clear about he doesn't want children, he doesn't want a relationship with you, I need us to realize that a child will not change that decision. And if we decide to, if we get pregnant, if you get pregnant and you decide to keep that child, it's not, it's, I'm going to say it's more than likely not going to change that guy's decision. You know, I was looking at some of the comments and someone was like, oh, well, I had a friend and a guy said it. Oh, I had a friend who basically told a woman the same thing and now he's a you know very involved dad okay wonderful but i don't think that's going to be the majority in this situation and as women we have to we have to make better decisions we have to make better decisions and i am not pointing fingers in this situation but what i want to encourage you to do is protect your womb. I find it very hard to believe that this individual didn't show any red flags, any signs, and maybe they didn't know, you know, each other well enough to really know. And that's another issue in itself, but we have got to protect our womb and not give our bodies to any and everyone. Like if you listen to that video and all you have to do is probably type in seven baby mamas or seven, guy with seven kids and seven baby mamas, and you will hear the disrespect and how he's speaking. But the fact that he's saying that only these seven, these seven, how many more? You're putting your life at risk, okay? You're putting your right life at risk dealing with men who are just going around sleeping with multiple, multiple people unprotected. So you really have to. But then this is your body. Your body is your temple, your body, it's a privilege for anyone to have access to your body and to give it to someone who, even if they're upfront about what they do not want and you know that it's not what you desire, 
You cannot change his mind with a kid. And I talked about this in one of my other videos about as women, we have to take accountability and own up to the fact that we will stay with someone in hopes that we can change their mind, whether that's by cooking, cleaning, gifting them. Um, it can be, you know, being physical, whatever it is, we cannot change their mind. And if you meet a man who is honest about not wanting kids, not wanting to be with you, you need to take his word and run if that's not what you desire. But there had to have been some red flags here. You know what I mean? One thing that I am very intentional about, and I have dated some guys with children. I don't have any children. Um, and I have never been pregnant. And I, 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 I listen to their relationship and engagement with their child. I am not impressed. And I will not entertain or date a man who is not involved in their child's life. No, because that is a indication to you of what he will do if you were to get pregnant. Okay. That is very clear to me, has always been very clear to me. So I, again, I'm not pointing fingers. I cannot say what was going through these individuals minds when they decided to, to keep the pregnancy because he said he gave them the option and they chose not to. But as women, we have got to protect our wounds. We have got to do a better job about who we allow access to us. Everybody is not worthy. And this is a prime example where he probably had access to all of these women who he was not worthy of probably any of them. And here he goes getting online, just talking recklessly, don't want to have any relationship. Now that is seven children. Seven little kids that now are going to grow up without a father. And we know that there are a lot of situations where there are absent fathers, whether that's due to untimely passing or the person choosing not to be in their life or there's another situation. But now you're creating trauma. And you know what? Based on that video, maybe he doesn't need to be in their lives because of his thought process. But we just have to own some of what is our responsibility and take accountability. And it can start with not putting ourselves in a situation where you interact with a man like that, where you get involved with a man like that, even if it's for one night, because that is now a long-term effect. It doesn't end at 18 years, right? Because this is now an, a, a person a human being that has come into this world and will have questions. And the questions are not going to stop at 18. It'll probably last throughout their life. And then now they have to work through the trauma and healing and, and probably hopefully seeking therapy and asking, you know, the mom questions about what happened and why put why put that child through that and why put yourself through that. Because you're seeking, you know, it's based on what he's saying, they are seeking financial assistance. And it's still his responsibility. He don't think so. But you helped. So it is. But, you know, why? And it's funny. Somebody made a comment on one of my videos, my podcast videos about a woman who chose to be a single mom. And the dynamics on that is a little different. And I think a part of it will be is she's not seeking financial assistance, okay? Um, she's not seeking financial assistance. This is something she was very intentional about. Um, and this situation with him is a little bit different. You know, maybe, maybe there'll be some long-term things where she will have to explain to them later. So absolutely, and I'm sure that she has thought about that and is prepared for that. But when you have a child with a man who is telling you he doesn't want any parts, when you share it with him and he's basically asking you to get rid of it and then you come back and ask for financial assistance and I'm not taking away from the fact that he should be giving, but you could have avoided that. You could have avoided that. And I just want to encourage someone, do not think that a, a baby will change a man's mind, will make him want to be with you, love you, and, and show you that you're worthy. Whatever he isn't doing, the baby's not going to make him do that. So we really have to just be more intentional about who we give our body to, who we give our time and our energy to, who we love. Love somebody that's going to love you. Love somebody who's going to cherish you. 
You know, pour into somebody who's going to pour into you. I find it very hard that this individual was doing any of those things. I could be wrong because we know relationships sometimes, you know, the man the man or the woman, but men will lie, you know, and then say one thing and then you you're in you end up pregnant and then all of a sudden they're saying a different story. So that could have happened. But when you get in that situation, you have to really think about the long term effect. And now, you know, these women have these seven children, these seven kids, so seven per woman, and or well, one per 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 mom, and some of them are seeking financial assistance. And it's like, did you think about those things before when you decided to keep the child? And then now you got him talking reckless. This, the child could probably see these things. You just never know. You know what I mean? So I just encourage, if you're in a place where you're dating someone, you're, you know, inner, you're involved with somebody and you are questioning if this is a decision or if this will help the relationship, it won't, it won't. And there's nothing wrong with you wanting a child. There's nothing wrong. I just said I interviewed someone who decided to be a single mom and that was her decision. But when it comes to a situation like this, you really have to think about it because there have been instances where people have lost their lives because somebody didn't want, you know, didn't want to step up and be and be a, a father or parent. When you think about some of these stories, so it comes with also that as well. Is is it worth it? to be attached to somebody like that, like them. Choose yourself, protect yourself, protect your energy, protect your peace, protect your womb because you are precious, you're, you are delicate, you are beautiful, you are everything to yourself and you don't need to have a man attached to you through a child who he still may not be around and treat you like this and discard you and your child and talk recklessly. You deserve more than that. So choose you, choose yourself. Don't choose to make a decision that you think will keep someone attached to you because it won't. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I'll see you on the next one.